starts off with explain the error. 350 plus 450. Got 750. Oh, it's 350 plus negative 450. There's lots of errors here. It looks like maybe they forgot the negative and maybe tried to add instead. Right? But they should get a negative 1. If we go to our calculator and type this in, negative 3.5 plus 4.5. No, I, I wrote it wrong. It was 3.5 plus a negative 4.5 we should have got negative 1. How could we use estimation to see that this is wrong? 350 is close to, it's right in between, right? But when rounding, do you know what the rule is when you're right in the middle? You round up. So if we were rounding and just doing an estimate, this would be 4 plus negative 5. Our estimate also tells us that something was wrong. Okay, whenever you see the word explain in a math question, they're going to want you to write words. This wouldn't get you any marks for just doing the math right. You need to say, it looks like the person Explain the error. It looks like the person didn't see the negative. Looks like they added, but even if they added, they should have got eight if they added, so something else went wrong along the way as well. But for sure, they didn't see the negative because that should be a negative one. Now we're going to estimate with multiplication. What is, oh, I'm going to just, so you don't see too many numbers at the same time. What's 3.8 close to? 4. What's 4.4 close to? What's 4 times 4? 16. I was wondering if anybody was going to say 4 again because I said, what's 3.8 close to? You said 4. What's 4.4? 4. What's the answer? 4. No. 16. And then you go to your calculator to get the actual answer. Okay? 3.8 times 4.4. The actual answer is 16.72. So our answer is close. negative 5.6 and, and 2.4. So first of all, negative 5.6. If we're rounding, what's it closer to? Negative 6. Multiplied by 2.4, closest to 2. So we get our estimate, 2 times 6 is 12, a negative times a positive is negative. So we start to see that all of these things that we've learned right from the beginning, integers, multiplying a positive times a negative, they keep coming back. That's the nice thing in, about math is you get to revisit the ideas over and over again. Then you go to your calculator, so check it out. See if you can type it in correctly. Negative 5.6 multiplied by 2.4. The actual answer is negative 13.44. One thing you're going to notice is that when you get to multiplication, your estimates start to be a little bit further off, just because multiplication is a little bit more powerful than adding. When we added and subtracted, we were always like within one. But sometimes with multiplying, we can be off a little bit more. Okay, one more. Negative 1.4 times negative 3.6. Again, this time the brackets are beside each other, that means multiplication. Negative 1.4 is close to negative 1. Negative 3.6 is close to negative 4. What's 1 times 4? Four? 4. Negative times negative? 
positive. So we get positive 4. Go to my calculator. Negative 1.4 multiplied by 3.6, it's 5.04. So again, the estimate's a little bit off, but you'll see that that estimate gets a little bit further off when we get to multiply. Dividing, same thing. Negative 15.6, close to negative 16. Divided by 2.3, 2. What's 16 divided by 2? 8. And negative divided by a positive? Negative. Go to our calculator and find out the actual answer. 15, negative 15.6 divided by 2.3, 6.78. One more example. Justin, pick someone to estimate negative 25.6 for us. Riley, negative 25.6 is closest to negative 25 or negative 26. Justin just picked you to estimate. What is negative 25.6 closer to negative 25 or negative 26? So if you think of your number line, here's negative 25. Negative 26 would be further to the left. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And negative 26, because 0.6 would be here. So negative 26. OK, Riley, pick someone to estimate negative 3.5. Oh, he did the last one. you got to pick somebody else. Sarah. Negative 3.5. Okay, if you think of your number line, it's somewhere between negative 3 and negative 4. Negative 3.5 is actually right in the middle. It could be argued closer to negative 4 or closer to negative 3 because it's exactly the same distance. In math, whenever we have a 0.5, we round higher. So now we would get negative 4. This isn't on our times table. What are numbers you can divide by 4? Okay, 12 can divide by 4. What's the closest number to 26 that you can divide by 4? What are numbers that are close to 26 that you can divide by 4? This is 24. And what's another one? That 24 is the one less. So if I do minus 24 divide by negative 4, I would get positive 6. What's the number bigger than 26? 28. 28 divides nicely by 4, then you would get 7. So you might say, hmm, I'm going to estimate this one. It's going to be more than 6, less than 7. Maybe I'll say 6.5 is my estimate. Okay? Now let's go to our calculator and do negative 25.6 divided by 3.5. The actual answer is 7.31. So our estimate, we thought between 6 and 7, it ended up being a little bit more. Again, with multiplying and dividing, your estimate is going to be a little bit further off, but that will give you the idea. Okay, some word problems. You ready for a word problem? Some of you did this one already in the homework. It's a little bit different, different numbers. A submarine was cruising at a depth of 110 meters. So it's 110 meters below the surface. I think this is like number 13. It then rose at 5.5 meters per minute for 10 minutes. Okay? That means every minute it's going up 5.5 meters. 
what was the depth of the submarine at this time. So for 10 minutes, it's going up 5.5 times 10, which is 55. We can write a statement. It goes up 55 meters. If it was at 110 and it goes up 55, what will it be at now? So one of the ways that we can write this, okay, if we want to start at 110 as a depth, this would be a place that we could use a negative to show that it's below the water. It's at minus 110, and then we need to go up 55. We get a new answer of negative 55. And because it's a word problem, we write a, sa a statement. The sub's depth is now 55 meters. Okay, a little bit of problem solving in part B. If that submarine continues to go up at the same rate, how much longer until it gets to the surface. Well, you're doing the one from your notes. This one's a little bit different. Right? The numbers are different here. Can you see that it went up 55 meters in 10 minutes? How much more does it need to go up? Another 55 meters? It would take another 10 minutes. Two wooden poles measured 2.45 meters. So I'm going to draw my one pole here. Woo. And I'm going to say this one is 2.45 meters. The other one was 1 1.23. I'm going to draw that one in blue. That's smaller, right? Yeah. 1.23 meters. They were attached, okay, they were put together and attached by overlapping them and taking out some rope. You waited a while the binder instead of coming back to class? Okay, have a seat. They're overlapped by 15 centimeters. Okay, first of all, do you know on a meter stick how many centimeters are in a meter? There's a hundred. Okay, here's a meter stick. This is one meter. 15 centimeters is only up to here. Okay, so 15 centimeters. is equal to 0 0.15 meters. We divide it by 100, move the decimal place over twice. And this question is asking, what is the total length? How far is it from here all the way to here? a little bit of problem solving. Why can't we just add 2.45 and 1.23? Because there's that 15 centimeter overlap. Okay? 
So one way to think about this, we could say I could go the 2.45, that would get me up to here, and then I would have to add, and I'm going to put this in brackets, I'm not going to add all of the 1.23, I have to take away the 0 0.15 off of it. And so if I add this all together, and so what really helps here, you said you got 3.53? That's what I got as well. And we need to have our units. So drawing the picture can really help us see that this part was 2.45 up to this line, and this part is 1.23 minus that 15 centimeters because that was taken off. And that's where we're going to end today. And out of your textbook in the last 5, 10 minutes, you can keep working on that page 60. Some of you have already started this.